Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 96 in Candy Crush Friends Saga, where we have 32 moves to collect 15 friends, and we've got Yeti as our helper friend here. Now, I don't have too many different options here. It looks like this is a pattern that's set up and not really very changeable. I could put these together, but not as a combo. So I'm going to hold off a bit. I'm going to try to open this side and see if I can change the board a bit for myself first. Not enough. If that fish had gone to here, well, it still would have all blown up, right? So let's just get this out of the way. All right, and I think this side too. Let's just open up as much as we have and give ourselves as, as large a space to work with as we can. And look what just happened. Thank you, Mr. Yeti. So we got that striped wrapped combo that we couldn't get to over here. Um, I don't have too many options, so let's just take this and it's helping Yeti out again. Yeah, very restricted. The moves that we can make, we don't have very many of them. I'm staying on this right hand side because here's my theory. I, my theory is that if I clear out one side, I'll have enough real estate to make some specials that can help with everything else on the board. So I figure if I do this, I'll be in a better situation. But it's so hard to crack through all of these barriers here. It's just slow going. And now I'm stuck. Okay, let's move over here. I think it was a good idea, but sometimes our ideas we can't just we can't get them to work out the way we want. Okay, I've got another stripe wrapped combo. I'm gonna set off this stripe up here as well when I do this. So there we go, we're opening things up, we're collecting. I only have eleven moves left, but the more I open this up, the more likely I'll be able to get everything done here. Let's open this side. Okay, we got some wrapped candies going. Oh, another striped wrapped combo here. That'll take out a lot. So now we're just dealing with the center here. And it's usually easier to work in the center of something. I could make this stripe. I don't find that to be valuable, but this should be. It'll go right through the territory where I need it to go. This would just help to take this out, but I think I'd be better off doing this. Now I can make a stripe here and it's really well positioned, but then I might lose this opportunity and I just can't lose this opportunity. The risk was just too great. I wasn't willing to take it, so I had to decide. All right, I like this stripe. Do I like it better than anything else I could do? I think so. I definitely like it better than the fish here because the stripe can take out a whole column and there, it made some nice cascading. Yeah, this is definitely what I want to go for here. There we go, because it has a double hit. So, I do this move, and this move, and I barely made it, but I got it done on the first playthrough. Phew! All right, so that's how I beat it. If it was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. <laughs> Look at that bottom of the rankings there. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.